Okay, so hello everyone. This is a bit of a different type of vlog. I don't know if you could call this a vlog. But this is a video where I'm gonna introduce a small bit about myself. What I'm currently doing. And how I have found doing what I'm doing. So... My name is Harry Ryan, for those of you that don't know. I'm 19 years of age. I'm currently in a city that's two hours north of Amsterdam in the Netherlands called Groningen, or as the locals pronounce it, Groningen. That could have been a bit butchered in itself. But yeah, when people hear Netherlands, they automatically think Amsterdam, but I'm not in Amsterdam. I'm in Groningen. I'm in my first year studying marketing management in my bachelor's degree last year i did like a one-year college course in ireland where i'm originally from which is dublin ireland uh, in psychology as i obviously didn't get the grades needed for college in ireland that's why i did a one-year course plc so it's kind of not really recognized that well but it's there normally to help you get into college after. Um, I thought I wanted to do psychology. I still have a huge interest in psychology and always like research shit about it just out of my own interest. But I figured that if I was to do a degree in it, I think my head would genuinely explode. And I fucking thought that if I was to do like a thesis, for example, which a good friend of mine, Carl, has done, um, who you've seen in past vlogs, I definitely think my head would fucking, like, oblit like it just fucking explode, like, um, so I was like, fuck that, I was scared of the fact of thinking of doing a psychology degree, I did apply to the Netherlands the year before, and I applied to Ireland, I got no courses in Ireland, bar one out in Dunleary, which is quite far from where I live, I live in <coughs> Hout, in Dublin, and so yeah, I didn't take it. I took the PLC instead. Um, because of COVID, my leaving cert, my final result, my final exams for secondary school or high school, yeah, secondary school is high school in, in Ireland. Uh, were delayed. The results were delayed. It's a lot of fucking bollocks to be quite honest. Like the whole thing, uh, the education system in Ireland's fucking awful so outdated it's shit um but anyways that's besides the point i got my results really late and i wasn't able to find out from any dutch colleges until i had my results to give to them if i got in so i got in but i got into a different college in the hague um which is kind of like i think uh, west of like northwest of amsterdam not too far from amsterdam about 20 minutes or so by car I think that could be completely wrong but it's not too far um, and I got a course in like sports science or sports studies can't really remember um, which I also would be very interested in doing but I didn't do I felt that marketing was always something for me so I did apply for it I put it first here in Groningen because I've heard lots of good things about this place Again, and then through research and I figured it was a huge student city Um. So that's why I applied for a marketing management here. Got the course, was over the moon, like couldn't believe I was actually going to real college because I felt that I would never get into college in Ireland uh, due to the fact that I'm not able to memorise a ton of content that would have nothing to do with the course that I was applying for, um, which was true. I wasn't able to obtain a stupid amount of information to for my leaving cert which was i got benefit of the doubt to be honest i think i probably would have failed my leaving cert if it was done the traditional way um i didn't do too well in my leaving cert regardless i did pretty fucking shit to be honest but when i say to people they kind of oh that's average but realistically it is poxy like you get the main issue i'm just saying it to people that have done really well Um, to be honest i don't really fucking care anyways but um yeah, so I got like 327 points in my leave and sir. In sixth year, at Christmas time, I had a seizure. 
my first ever seizure and it's like to be honest I like, have my seizure isn't a sensitive topic at all to be quite honest I kind of have a different different perspective on things like that um, I had a seizure before my exam students in the school do seem to believe that I overdose on drugs which didn't happen I had an epileptic seizure I am now deemed and I've been diagnosed with epilepsy I take these medications every day Kepra 2,000 milligrams a day um, and when I first started taking these I found them really difficult to ad- found it very very difficult to adapt to uh, like a lack of concentration constant drowsiness um, fucking I was just bollocks the whole time so tired and then in school I because I was training rugby a lot with the seniors senior cup team I would preserve my energy throughout the academic classes in order to that I could try and perform to the best of my ability in rugby um, but yeah I really enjoyed secondary school I really enjoyed it but I fucking hated the school aspect of school if that makes sense yeah basically I got an, like like my grades here were back home translated very well over here so I'm now studying marketing and management. I've probably said this already. St- studying marketing and management here in Groningen in the Netherlands in Hans University, or Hanse. We don't. Re- I still don't know what it's pronounced, but it's. I just say Hans. H A N Z E. People call it Hansa, or Hanse. Hansa. Oi. Hansa. Hansa. I think that's what it is. But yeah, I'm doing that there. I'm. I have exams next week. Three of them. And I have a presentation on Thursday. And it is now fucking currently Monday the 31st of October. It's Halloween actually. It doesn't feel like Halloween here. It's not that big over here. I wish it was. But like I had college today and I've got college at 9am in the morning. So to be quite honest, I wouldn't really be thinking of heading out tonight. <clears throat> yeah, I've got exams coming up and I'm really fucking enjoying the course. I find it super interesting and I genuinely enjoy doing the work for the grades. Like, do you get what I mean? It's, um, so, what I recommend for people who want to come over here, this is specifically to Groningen. It might be the same for other cities in the Netherlands. I'm not 100% sure. But, um... First off, I would try and this like the day you arrive, have your so I had to fucking set up a come on, Harry. Uh I had to set up a meeting. Uh or like a fucking not even a fucking meeting, I don't know what to call it, but you have to go in to this place in like for me, the municipality of Groningen to get my BSN number which is uh, the equivalent of like a social service number or a PPS number in Ireland. So it allows you to work, but you have to do it regardless if you want to work or not. You have to do it regardless because it means that you're like a a student citizen of the city. Um, I want to get it, well, you have to get it anyways, but I want to get it also because I want to work. Um, So BSN number one, I'd do that. Second is fucking apply for a Dutch bank account. You could probably apply the day before you come over. And I I recommend ABN. Now you can also apply for ING, but I fucking hate them. They're cunts, they're pricks, they're shit. ING are fucking poxy. Um I applied with them and they wouldn't allow my application because I'm a taxpayer in Ireland. Now, I know other people that got their application accepted even though they're taxpayers in their own country or even in Ireland. But that's why they wouldn't allow me. And then I went, I was trying to figure out what what the fuck, like surely I'm still allowed to get a fucking Dutch bank account. But um, I emailed them and they were like, oh, come into our shop and sort it out. So I rock up to their shop, which is like five minutes across the road from me. Luckily for me, there's one just there. And rock up at half five. Keep in mind, they close at six. So I rock in. There's someone there talking to your one, the lady at the counter. 
and uh, I go in at half five. They don't close till 30 minutes time. She stops and she goes, sorry, we're closing. And I was like, you close at six. Like it says you close at six and you're talking to someone there. And then she got really fucking like thick with me. A bit aggro was like, uh, no, 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 no. We close at six. This is the last person I'm seeing today. Like get out. And I was like, right, fuck you. Like, well, I didn't obviously say that, but fuck her. She was a fucking stupid cunt. Like, do you get what I mean? Like, I'm a, like, g- give us a fucking hand here. Like, I'm trying to sort out my Dutch bank account. But, uh, so they wouldn't allow me. And then I applied again when I went home. They were having none of me. Uh, because of this fucking bollocks of me being a taxpayer in Ireland. So then, one of the lads, uh, Ralph and Fred, if you're watching this, sound for telling me to come to ABN. Because I did. And uh, that same day, I applied for ABN. Uh, you need to get a maestro card especially in Groningen anyways, I don't know if this goes for any other city, but they don't accept MasterCard or Visa. This is like huge because a lot of people come here and get like, oh fuck, they don't do that because only certain places do and you're kind of really limiting yourself to fucking like even on nights out, uh, going to get food or whatever from the shops or even if you're going to get snacks, like do you get what I mean? Um, they don't accept MasterCard or Visa. So you have to get a maestro card. So if you get the student card on, I recommend ABN because they were fucking sound out. They accepted me within four hours. Um, I liked them. Um, accepted me in four hours. Uh, and it comes, the student one's a maestro card. You don't have to specify. Um, but the thing is, you have to wait a week. And then the week after, they send out each bit so you have to get like this thing to help set up your card. I don't know if that's going to fuck up the the focus or not. But it's like, I don't know. It's like It looks like a little fucking burner. But it's actually like a little calculator to help set up your bank card. Um, but yeah, you get one of them. And then you get like all these different letters with like your pin code, your fucking... All this, and then your actual card. But it all comes separately for fucking security reasons. So you could actually probably apply for your bank account the week before you come. And then the week you come. As long as you obviously know where you're staying. If you have accommodation sorted. Which this probably should go without saying. But I'm just going to add this in now. Sort your accommodation out and get on it. Like as you're making your application, like the year before or whatever, like just like make sure you know what you're gonna try and get or try and apply for because it's like fucking gold dust accommodation here. I had a friend, fucking Jacob from Germany. If you're watching this, Jacob, he was fucking staying on some girl. I think it was Marie. If she's watching this as well, in my class, sleeping on her couch for like two weeks until he could find an apartment. And inevitably, if you don't have if you don't get the accommodation sorted, you inevitably end up paying a fucking too much for accommodation. Uh, so try and get your accommodation sorted ASAP. Like as, as soon as like fucking... Because yeah, you really need to get on top of that. Like it's fucking uh, October now. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm not a month into my... I'm like two months now. Two to three, two and a half, three months maybe. I don't know. No, two months. But uh, me and my friend Rob are going to look at trying to get accommodation for next, like the next academic year. So like next September. So that's how far in advance you'd want to be looking at accommodation. I do recommend this company. However, if if you're going to go with this company, make sure you're not a fucking idiot like myself and lock your bike and take your fucking key out. Because your bike, if it's unlocked, regardless of what it is, it's going to get swooped, like, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, it's called Swap Feats. I recommend it because it's very good. Because if anything happens to your bike, you can either bring it to the shop or they'll come out to you and they'll sort out your bike. However, if it is stolen, you do have to pay €450. Euro. Bank, Maestro card, bike is essential. I know people that are getting public transport and I, I just don't understand it. Bike, you get around quicker. Biking, you get around cheaper. And, yeah, that's, like, it's just so much more efficient. So, yeah, that's the end of the vlog. We hope you've enjoyed it. 
again if you're coming here or not i hope you enjoyed the content um so you've got a bit about me a bit about what i'm doing and a bit more insight into how much rambling and talking bollocks i can do so yeah i appreciate everyone that fucking watches all that bollocks and fucking texts me about like certain things they want to see more of in certain aspects um i'm really rambling now i can't fucking articulate myself to just finish this but uh, i'm hoping the next vlog will be a coffee shop review I do have exams coming up and I'm very low on money so I don't know if it will or not be. I will have something sussed for the next vlog of course because it's every Tuesday. So yeah I just want to say thank you for watching again and I hope you enjoyed the content. And the, uh, Thank you for watching again. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope if some of you have found this useful um, if not just enjoyable. So that's me signing off. Thank you very much.